Morning. I am. On the side of the A14. I am. I'm taking this thing to Colchester. Should be a nice easy day. Already done one drop, hence why there's a big gap at the back of the trailer. That one drop being the regular customer we do in Ipswich, which is not really Ipswich anymore. So a big gap at the back of the trailer now. There's a lifting frame on the back, I don't know if you saw that. It's to lift the big red thing we got, because apparently it's a crane thing. Interesting. Yeah. And then we're gonna load a container. It's a nice easy day. Boom, boom, boom. Nice and easy day. This is why I got into this job. You know, look at the weather. It's actually quite nice, can you? Look at the weather. Lovely summer's day. Okay, admittedly, I'm not parked in the best location, but do I mind? No. It's one of the reasons I love I love this job, you know. Just chilled out day, nice and easy, cup of tea, you know. I really need a new cup. I'm glad I decided to come into this industry on days like this, you know. And if it's something you're thinking about doing, well, do it. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do it, then do it. Yeah, I know a lot of people who watch me thinking, oh, do I want to go for my license for that? Well, I can't tell you that, only you can tell you that. All I'm saying is, if you want to do it, then do it, because you never know. And then you pass your theory and all that, you need a medical. And luckily, this video is sponsored by gettingamedical.co.uk. Yes, gettingamedical.co.uk. Obviously, as a lorry driver, you're going up and down the country, wherever you are. And uh, so are they. They're literally everywhere. North Wales, South Wales, England, Scotland, Around wherever world. you live. Even better. It will cost a mere shade over £50 with my code uh, down below for this medical. And when I was doing mine, I went to a GP and he just gave me some, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it was well over £100. It was about 140 something. And I was thinking, oh, that's a lot, but yeah, okay. Uh, did not think anything of it until a mate told me, oh, do it privately, you'll get cheaper. And I did. And it was a lot cheaper. <laughs> Surprisingly cheaper. So, gettingamedical.co.uk can help you get it cheaper. Yeah, but there's really no stress in it as well. Uh, simple online booking process, no stress at all. There's clinics, as I've already mentioned, all over the country with multiple appointments all, uh, with them all. And if you don't fancy driving a truck, you know, you need a medical for your taxi or your bus or anything else that needs a medical. I don't know, I, I drive a truck. I, I got mine for truck. It works. <laughs> I work, thankfully. Medical proves I work, like, biologically. So if it is something you might be interested in in the future or something you're considering, get it done. Gettingamedical.co.uk. The link is in the description and the comments. Use my code, save yourself a bit of money. You know, if it's something you're thinking, yeah, I'm ready to do it, just do it. Because it might be the best thing you've ever done getting your HGV license or whatever license. It could be the worst thing you've ever done. I won't lie to you, some days it's hard. But at least you'll know if you actually do it. For the medical, go on the website, check it out, familiarize yourself, find a clinic, get your medical, do your theory, pass your test, go on the road, love it or hate it. But today we are going to a transport company to take this red thingamabob off. And then my boss said we're reloading a container and I thought, oh God, I'm gonna Felix Stowe again. <laughs> because I do have the trailer for that. I do have the trailer with the twist locks. But no, no Felix though. We are, well, it's got a Gloucester, wherever it is. I'm picking it up from Gray's. I haven't actually had an address yet, so I would like an address, please, boss. Well, yeah, staying in a transport company. Uh, the thing on the back is, I've already mentioned, uh, a crane attachment, if you want to call it that to go along with this box so they can lift it with a crane. So I'm gonna leave you guess what transport company it is in the comments. So that's a clue. They've got cranes, high abs and that, and they're based down here. I didn't actually know where they were based until I just found out the address, but <laughs> they do go all over. It's quite a big company. You see them quite often on the motorways. Now we are down here, 12 to junction 25 apparently. It's another clue for you. Leave it in the comments. Of course, someone's gonna watch ahead in the video. 
and they were like, oh, it's this company. Well done. You've just cheated yourself. There's no fun in that, is there? Okay, uh, considering I'm going to a business park with a hot, well, haulage company at the end. Hmm. I've seen the road to our yard. Never mind. I was going to say, this road ain't ideal. It's not too bad. Don't get me wrong. Narrow in places. A bit bumpy more than anything. As you can see, we just passed the tractor. Passing another rigid here. So it's fine. What's growing in that field? Lavender? No. It's purple, whatever it is. I don't know that one. Uh, do I turn left somewhere here? Somewhere here? I don't actually know. Oh no! Oh, this is getting a bit... Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. As long as these cars... are a bit... cautious, same as me. Ah... Uh, that sign says turn here. I shall turn here. This... Have I gone wrong? I saw signs for a golf club, I did... Am I actually going into a golf club? Have I gone wrong? It said business park. Yeah, business park. Uh, I'm not seeing anything I need. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, that was easy. All HGV traffic. <laughs> no motorcycles. How dare you? I'm shooting a YouTube video. Yeah, he seemed to be filming a YouTube video. A bit like me, really, isn't it? Well, I've definitely found where I need to be. Just not exactly where I need to be. Okay, that'll do me. Can I do a spinny here? Probably, but I won't. Stop. I want to go forward. Come on. I don't want to make myself look like an idiot in front of everyone, really, or anyone. But then again, I do this on YouTube anyway, so kind of besides the point, isn't it? Anyway, that thing I just dropped off, apparently it's an engine. Oh, we'll have an engine. To power. I'll do. <laughs> to power a 160 ton high ab crane on the back of a step frame trailer. So yes, they're buying a new step frame trailer, sticking a 160 ton high ab crane on it and that engine's going to power it, so it's not going to run off the power of the lorry. Because I'm assuming it can't. Because 160 ton! I don't really know what that looks like. But it sounds big. Quite big. It sounds quite big indeed. And apparently it was ordered by uh, Mr. Watson himself. I just heard my front flaps scrape against that speed bump. That was not a good, that's not a good noise. These flaps are way too low. Yeah, apparently it was ordered by Mr. Watson himself, so hopefully he's happy with it. If not, then I don't know, buy something else. <laughs> but anyway, we're going down to Garage now. I've got an address. I have got an address. Don't know what they're doing. 
I have got an address and I'm not 100% sure I'm allowed to go that way. <laughs> not sure if we need a DVS kit. I'm pretty sure we don't because it's close to Tilbury and I know we don't need it for Tilbury. But it is getting closer to London. But it is still on the other side of the M25, the good side of the M25, the not London side of the M25. So we're probably all right. Pick up a container, 40 foot. I've already done the twist locks. I was struggling with one because it got filled with stones over time. Uh, to be fair, I was expecting a lot bigger struggle between all of them, but no, I was struggling with one. And after struggling with one, and finally getting it up after about five minutes, I realized um, that was the wrong one. <laughs> I should have been the one next to, next to it. So yeah, we've got a, got all the pins in place. Funny enough, the one I wanted didn't, didn't struggle at all. It's going to somewhere by Stonehouse in Gloucester. I like picking up containers. I think it'll be a pretty, I am a good 99% sure it's gonna be an empty container. So we're gonna fly down the M4. Is that bloke still doing his YouTube video? He is. Yeah, everyone, if uh, if anyone knows who that guy actually was, and you know of his channel, then put, the, put it in the comments. We'll give him a shout out, why not? Behind the scenes action. Yes, let's, uh, let's escape this, this confusing looking business park. I'll head to the dirty city of London, or head towards the dirty city of London, rather. Head towards that London. Stop just before. Don't know why this accent came out. Oh, the mass. Oh, he's on the harvest, boys. Where's the combine? Please tell me the combine's already ahead of him. So we're on the M25 coming off here just before the Dartford Bridge because uh, don't fancy going over there because we, we, we don't really have an account and I'll have to pay and I don't want to do that. But anyway, leaving here but we're going to stop in Thurrock. Thurrock Services and uh, to anyone who knows Thurrock, um, the services anyway, how can I describe it? If there was a rank, a big list of all the services and how good they are. Thurrock would be right at the bottom. I've stayed there once in my life. I was 2015, seven years ago. Jesus, seven years ago. Seven years ago. And um, yeah, the rats still flood my brain. Next time, if I'm around this area, I need a night out, I'll risk a parking ticket. I ain't stopping in Thurrock. Again. But unfortunately, I have no choice right now. Because I need to use the facilities. They take what you can get. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while since I've been here, so I don't really know the road layouts here. Paying extra attention. Services this way, they'll do. That from crossing that way. That'll do that. As long as we're not going to go over Dartford, that's okay with me. Ooh, I can hear his horn. I don't think you heard his horn, but that was, he was not happy. He just cut him in front of that. Hey, we're not happy at all, mate. That's more of a London accent, right? Yeah, I, sorry. I think that sat was leading me down there. I was like, why is he leading me down there for? I'll go a long way. No, it's taking me to where I need to actually go, didn't it? Just a bit further that way, but quick stop off here, 15 minute break. Yeah, I could do with a 15 minute break actually, yeah. Works out well that way. Well then. The hell? Oh, he's mounting the curb. I saw that lorry bouncing, I was like, what the hell is going on there? And there is a mass exodus of lorries here. Oh, should that worry me? There's two spaces there. 
another space, but oh, there's yeah, plenty of room. Jesus Christ, the cameras on this road. Oh, I already regret coming here. Can I blind it in there? No, there's a lorry already there. Oh, it's a right hole, this. Interesting. Interesting trailer, though. Lord on that trailer, rather. Oh, no, he's blocking that, so... I guess I'll just exit through the pumps, okay? Don't know why he's back there when there's three pumps, but there we are. Ah, maybe he wants to add blue on that side, fair enough. I'll let him off for that one. While the guy on the pump is filling an add blue from a plastic container. Right, don't go on the entry there. Ooh, hang on. I think I just saw what I need on the sign, or something similar, anyway. Just thinking of a Greg's. Ding out of Greg's. And, <laughs> not gonna lie, the smell of the place turned me off food. I think I'm good for a few hours. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of complaining in that in this section, wasn't it? For th those of you who have actually been to Therac Services, you know exactly what I'm on about. And I forgot to put it on break as well, so. No 15 minute break for Scott there. But, uh, oh well. That's, uh, that's done me good for another seven years, I think. Yeah, no need to return for another seven years, Scott. From seven o'clock. Oh, uh, shut up with your traffic announcements. If I need that right now, then uh, we're in trouble. I don't think I'm too far away, five minutes if that of wherever I'm going. That says Lakeside Shopping Centre, and I think I need Lakeside Business Park. So, close enough. Ah, the white cliffs of Thurrock. <laughs> Doesn't have quite the same ring, does it? What's this black sign say? Magnet Industrial Estate. The other sign said forward for Lakesides, which is what I actually need. But also this is London Road. Oh, there's a bridge, is that low? Shouldn't be low. No, that's, that's, that's very high, Scott. Definitely not a low bridge, okay. But this got a bit residential. And straight ahead of me, there's a seven and a half ton weight limit. Okay. It seems the name of the trading estate might have been wrong. I hope. Otherwise, some, well, something's gone wrong here. Yeah? Well, I see containers. Is it up here? We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Okay, stop here. I've made the call. I'm in the right place. I just wait. So the forklift driver calls me. Should probably put the old make sure you can see me jacket on. Because uh, we don't want any accidents and if you wear this jacket, you'll never have an accident. At least that's what some health and safety people believe. I have got my box. And the 
front camera died for some reason. But there's a lorry in front of me. And he's going to be the one tipping me tomorrow. From another hall, yeah. Seatbelt on. That's a, that's a great. Anyway, back where we came, M25, M40, A40, M5, and yeah, that's us then. Anyway, there she is. She's a tall one. Looks pretty new. Oh, I'm saying that. A few scratches. Fierce scratches, that has major. I'd say they weren't long cars to be fair. And of course we get the Scania V8. Hi. people. I am uh, in quite a good mood actually. I'm in quite a good mood. Reason for that, I had a massive lie-in. 13 hours off! Actually it's a bit more than that, 13 and a half. Right, anyway, as you can see we've just turned off the beaten track. Yay. <laughs> uh, not too far away from, uh, we're taking this container to a farm it seems. Yeah. That's, that's a thing that's happening. Although so far so good. This is already a lot wider than I expected. Oh, don't hit the tree, Scott. You do that enough already. Narrow bridge. Come on, girl. She's still a bit cold because I didn't really park that far away. Okay, this is more what I was expecting. You know, no markings in the middle of the road, bushes either side that make me need to go in the middle. This is more what I expected. Apparently the boy with the crane is already there. Just surprisingly, because it's not even seven o'clock yet, and we agreed seven o'clock. Come on. Go. Are you good? I mean, there was a bigger pot of concrete next to me here, but thank you anyway. <laughs> oh, what's he doing here? Like sometimes when I encounter people on country roads, what are they doing here? You know, they're like that. And there could be a legitimate reason why I'm there when I've got a curtain cider or a flatbed, you know, for example. When they see I've got a lot of fence posts, such as. When I've got a container on the back. That's a proper, what is he doing here moment. <laughs> but then again, plenty of farms have containers. Like storage wise, so. I suppose it's not very often they'd get delivered, like, well. It does happen. Traffic, yes, there is traffic. There is now no traffic. Not that way. Although I could have gone that way, I suppose. I had a look at this on Google and I was like, a bit about this next turning left. But I've discovered the way to turn left here is to do the next turning. Yeah, this, these, these roads are alright. There's nothing bad about these. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. <laughs> no, that car parked there. No chance. So we go to the next one. 
don't know if you can see but the drag marks on the floor by uh, the tires already from the boys that's already here another very nice church I gotta say Narrower cars, but not to bother. And we have arrived. Right. Which way do I actually go? That didn't take a beacon off. Right, that one in front of me is just a flatbed. That one further up on the left, right, left, right, 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 is the boy with the crane. Let's go see what's what. Right, this is going to be tight. <laughs> just watch the first guy take his off. Yeah. Oh, not so much getting in, but getting out. He got out. Damage was done, but he got out. This is a bit tight than I expected. I'm going to have a look. Ow, prickly. Prickly, prickly, prickly. Oh. oh stop. One thing I don't like about this Scania is the clutch control. The lack thereof. I suppose that's one of the reasons Scania sell a clutch on demand system it's not gonna like I would like that right now there we go that's better that's better obstacle number one done all right so we gotta go up to the right go straight back where that container is now lift off and then Go back straight to the right, blindside it next to that pile of rubble. Hopefully don't damage anything. All right, so when they said that container's going in there, they literally meant in the barn. off here comes the tricky part now sort the twist locks out on that later now drop them I'm watching my curb mirror see so I don't hit the fence that side oh, we'll have a look we'll have a look at this There we are, we do have assistance. Jacket round. Good. Oh, 
think he heard you, he was just on the phone now. <laughs> I think he heard you, he's on the phone now. <laughs> oh, come on, one, one little wheel slip and he's like, ah, oh, I fell onto them. <laughs> uh, cheers, Mike. I'll see you again. One little wheel slip and he's like, ah, oh, he's got yes, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that manoeuvre actually wasn't as tight as I thought it was. I mean, it was tight, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> and getting it up of here is a lot easier than getting in. When I get to my drop, right, so, collection rather. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to show that. Hmm. Annoying, isn't it? Yes. So, I'll end this section of the video here. I remember this tree. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, we might have to have another go at this. We might have to have another go at this. We have to have a go at this. Damn it! Oh, I don't. Oh, do I, I don't want to reverse. Ah, oh, my mirror's gone the other way. Oh, we're back on that tree again. Right, I'm slightly over the left a bit more now. Well, my trailer is rather, which is the issue. I've got bushes in my cab. Uh, how tight am I? I'm this tight. Uh, it's doable. It's doable. Nice and slow. Ping the lollipop. Ping the lollipop, yes. When you ping the lollipop, you know it's tight. Uh, oh, I've got to get out of here now. Big tight on this exit. I thought this farm had plenty of room. I was very wrong. <laughs> Manageable. Actually, this, this entrance ain't too bad. Manageable, like, but... Could be better. Right. Secret collection, secret delivery. Continue the video next time. Not much room here. Yeah. Forgot to film the way in as well. Yeah. Not much room at all. Challenges, I suppose. It's all right. But there is a, a seven and a half tonner on the corner where I turn around up there. Might make getting out trickier, you know? Reversing out of here. And I bet many people are questioning why I don't reverse in here. Because I fundamentally 100% believe that reversing in will actually make it more awkward. Over up here, I think that Ford, whatever the hell that was, is going to try and butt in. Or not. Yeah, they got, uh, it wasn't a seven and a half tonner, it was a three and a half tonner. Looks like a bit of a council van, actually.
I usually gotta usually gotta take two shots of this. Maybe not today. Considering there's more traffic today. Or parked cars rather. I'm starting to think. Can I do that? Let me get a look for that. That should be alright. Yep, that's alright, that'll do. <laughs> Power. Right. Oh, nearly one o'clock. Got 50 miles to go as the crow flies. So, MM. How's the crow flies? Turn that temperature down a bit. Now it's warming up in the day. I didn't tell you to pump up the fan. There we go. Uh, Immingham at do, 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 quick maths. Just under two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. One and a half hours. Plenty of time on the taco. Before, yeah, I'll get loaded today. No problem at all. Happy days. Happy days, mother. Yeah, I'm sure every time I do that drop, they add an extra car somewhere. Every single time. I'm sure. I was like, well, Scott did it with 54 cars. Can you do it with 55? Why not? You know? <laughs> and the bloke unloaded me. He's like, yeah, park in that gap between the van and the red car. No, park in that gap between the van and my car. And your car. Your, your car, yours, your, your car's the one I nearly hit every time, okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they're all the car I nearly hit every time. It's like a, well, like a needle in a haystack, basically, isn't it? <laughs> like a drop in the ocean. But over to Immingham, uh, I would say this load is going to a horrendous tight farm. Where well, there's one way in, one way out, and if you meet any other traffic, you will get stuck. Now, I wish I could stay all that. I wish I could tell you it was going to a field where we'll probably get bogged down in mud. I wish I could tell you that. I wish I could tell you that's going to a dealer that I've never been to before. I wish I could tell you that. I wish I could tell you Scott Berryman, Matthew Curran, and Jason Earl Mapp were contributors to the channel by joining the channel memberships. I can't tell you that. But another thing I can tell you is that this is the end of the video. We've had, I reckon, a pretty good successful video here. It's been, yeah, we've had a bit of a crane job, a couple of generators. We have, I'm actually not doing a lot of pallets recently. Pallets has been very quiet. But the generator stuff is picking up, so there's that. Uh, oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, we took uh, that thing to David Watson, didn't we? Yeah. Hope he likes it. Yeah, see, new things, new things. That was like three days ago, and in my mind, it's like a lifetime ago. <laughs> all right, all right, that's been a good week. So thank you for watching. Whatever you think of the week, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe by the big red button down there. And I'll see you in the next one.